thank you all for coming. I know you probably were a little tired of seeing the emails come out um, every week about this. So, but super psyched that so many arrived and came. So um, I, I'm going to start out introducing my my team here. We're missing one. He couldn't make it, but I've got Karen who is um, working with me on the New England chapter. She is a um, marketing queen. So I'm super excited that I have her so that we can actually pull some really good events off in the near future. And then we have Danielle who's in the scientific world. So she can help us with education and understanding really what's going on because we're not scientists. <laughs> so, um, so thanks for coming today. And I just wanted to give you guys a couple of updates of what's going on with the chapter one, um, a quick introduction about myself of why I'm doing um, the New England chapter lead. The girl with the glasses is my daughter. She's um, seven, soon to be eight. She was diagnosed last year. This is her in a class with a friend of hers that my friend puts on for them, learning about muscles and how Caitlin's muscles develop differently than her friends. So that was them building out a little muscle with balloons. And I was like, wow, couldn't it be great if you could just blow up a balloon and get muscle? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so this was the results of the survey we sent out um, at the at the end of spring last this past year, and so wanted to give you guys the the feedback that education, medical research, development, all of that was really important to all of you in the in the chapter, and hence today is hopefully hitting that target. You also talked about quarterly, so. We will work to try and have some meetings like this throughout 2019 that are based around research, education, um, and the topics that are of interest to, to you all. And then Sundays seem to be a good day for the group as well. Um, so before I go on any further, I do want to actually say thank you to Connecticut and the members of the Connecticut chapter that are here. Can you guys raise your hand or stand or yell? <laughs> So it's great to be able to have people so close. Um, with Connecticut, the, the travel time is not that far for us to meet in Worcester for both chapters and have power in numbers. So, um, so make sure that the Massachusetts people meet the Connecticut and, and thank you guys again for making the trip and coming. Hopefully we can do a lot more joint events like this. Um, so going on with the goals of the chapter. So um, one is raise awareness uh, and making connections and fundraising, which is what we will be getting into, and Karen will talk a little bit about that, as I just told her this morning. <laughs> um, supporting each other, events like this, and getting to know people and learning from one another is, is awesome, and shared resources, and hopefully building a really strong community where you know we, we really know each other and help each other out through, through the different phases. Um, so I'm gonna turn it over to uh, Karen to talk a little bit about social media and um, the walk and roll that these girls are making me commit to. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, so 10 seconds I'll ago. Read on that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so these are web events that we are hoping to have sometime in this maybe late spring or summer. Uh, June has encouraged us to go big or go home. So. Um, <laughs> You may have seen, if you're up on FSH uh, news across the country, a lot of our, the chapters are doing these walk and what are called walk and roll. So it's the walk and roll. We're trying to be inclusive of all of our community here. So we're not just doing a walkathon. It's a walk and roll. And so everyone should be able to participate. So um, I'm, I'm thinking let's just go big as possible. So if we can do this like in the Boston common area, like the walk for hunger, that would be like my goal. Whether or not that's the next year's goal or a couple of years from now, we'll figure that out, but um, we do need your help in sort of planning this big event. So I think the purpose of a fundraiser like this is it's twofold. It's, it's fundraising, so we'd be raising funds for FSH to continue the work they do, but it's also awareness. And um, I'm gonna ping back Kristen to, to mention the work she's been doing, talking to a lot of uh, pharmaceutical companies and how important awareness is to um, getting these therapeutics out and actually on the market and available for use. Um, so we just need your help uh, spread the word. Please sign up to help volunteer. Um, a big part of putting on an event like this is actually using our collaborative col uh, connections. So if you may know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody, um, you know, to pull off a big event like the Boston Walk for Hunger, which is what I'm kind of modeling, like if we could go that big, that would be amazing just so that Everyone, I love that. Look at that. This crowd thinks big. <laughs> so we need all those ideas. So please just let us know. And 
nothing is too small, right? So if it's just you sharing with your family and friends, like we just need to get people out and participating and to know actually what FSHD is and to know when the bridge lights up with orange, like that they're gonna think that's FSHD day. Um, so more to come about that, but please let us know if you're interested in help in, in any way and we'd be so grateful for your participation. Yep, yep. So the other thing we do wanna maybe, we're considering tying the walk and roll in with the June 20th Light Up the Bridge Orange if June can pull off the, the miracle again. Um, and, and hopefully maybe even getting some restaurants involved with the awareness. I mean, Boston has got so many companies like Full Chrome that's here today working on the solution and so you know, if we can tie that in with the social initiatives that are going on, then we can get more awareness and more people involved. Um, and then also more more people in this room to work with the scientists and work with the pharmaceuticals to make sure that we are offering everything they need to get these drugs out into the market, um, which is the end game. So down the road, the mission would be that we start to put, you know, a brand new chapter, we're starting to put some of these missions, some of these um, meetings into place, and then years sec that we just continue to grow year after year. We have a basement built this year. Next year, it becomes easier for us to have bigger and better events and you have to start somewhere. So um, this was a pretty big turnout from what I keep being told from the society. So we want to just keep this momentum going. Um, so um, where do we go from here? It's just all about all of us being involved and, and working together and learning and, and uh, figuring out how to solve the, the problem at hand. So I'm going to turn everything over to to Dr. Hayward. I just don't mention for you.